welcome to Lunch Lane Lucinda. Um, today I've got a cute little ladybird pack lunch box for you to do today. Super cheap, super easy, anybody can do it. Um, I found the inspiration on Instagram. I'll tag the account below um, that I found it on. It's a little bit different to theirs, but um, that's where I got the inspiration from. So thanks very much to them. Um, let's get straight on with the video. Right, so if you start with some carrots and cucumber sliced up, um, and I've got a cookie cutter here, a uh, flour cookie cutter, you can, if you don't have one, you can just draw a flower on a piece of paper and cut it out that way through with a knife. Um, but for ease, I've got a flower. Um, I'm not getting rid of any of the scraps either. They're going to go in um, tomorrow morning smoothie. So once you've done that, if you just pop them to a side and then get a slice of bread and then if you, I've got another cookie cutter that's a circle. If you don't have a, a large circle cookie cutter, you can just use the other side of a cup and um, that would work just the same. So I've chopped up some bread and then I'm buttering that and then I've pre-cut some Edam cheese and some ham. So then I'm layering the ham on top and then I'm going to pop the cheese on top. So this is going to look like a ladybird so I need to cut the face part out. So I'm just going to use some scissors for this bit. So I'll cut the face and then I'll cut the wings. And then once I've done this bit, I'm going to use a Love Heart cookie cutter. Um, again, you can just cut this with a knife if you don't have that. Um, and then press that into the cheese just to make the spots. And then once we've done the last of that, I'm just going to pop it back onto the ham. So it's basically an open top sandwich. So we won't put a slice of bread on top. So now I'm going to get some seaweed for the eyes. I've always got this seaweed in for lots of different pieces, but you can just get them in any supermarket and it's the Nori Sushi Seaweed. I'm just going to get a hole punch. I've just got a singular hole punch. Um, and then I'm going to make the eyes with that. just press down a little bit it should stay in grab my lunch box and pop some spinach in it and just layer the bottom of the spinach this just helps it from uh, to stop moving around when it's in the pack lunch box I find that it stays still if you pop the spinach on I've accidentally forgotten to film this bit, so I've cut out some cheese, a contrasting colour cheese, um, and just popped that on top of a warm um, corn on the cob, and then it'll just naturally melt in so it'll stay. And then I've chopped into an egg, but just kept the yolk there. And now I'm just popping a little bit for a stalk. When I was cooking the corn on the cob, I've got some frozen green beans and I just took one out of the bag and popped that in so I'm going to use that for a stalk on my flour on the egg. Excuse the dog in the background. So I'm just going to cut the, uh, cut the stalk to the right size and pop that on. 
And then I'm going to be using the Nori seaweed again um, for the flower petals. And then just pop them on. I'm using a, a chopstick here. Sometimes I struggle to pick up the seaweed. It's um, quite thin, so it helps a little bit sometimes if you just use a chopstick if you're struggling. So then once you've finished doing that, I'm just going to pop that into the lunchbox as well. And then I've just had to move the sandwich along a little bit to fit it in. And then I'm going to get my cucumber and carrots that I chopped up earlier. I forgot to mention that these carrots, um, they're just raw carrots. I've not cooked them, but you could cook them if your child prefers. Um, and then I'm just decorating it, just popping the flowers in all the little gaps so then i'll just pop that into a lunch bag with a packet of crisps and that's it it's all done if you like this video just don't forget to give me a like and subscribe um, i'd be really thankful for that thank you so i hope you enjoyed watching um, send me any pictures that you get over on my instagram on leave a comment if you've got any other ideas or any videos that you'd like me to do um, i'd definitely love some inspiration from you guys as well uh, so thanks for watching. Bye.